Hey kids, welcome to our little Grizzo TV. Once upon a time, there were two best friends named Ben and Sarah. They lived in a small town, and they loved to explore the woods behind their houses. One day, they were exploring the woods when they came across an old, abandoned house. The house was dark and creepy, but Ben and Sarah were determined to go inside. They were not superstitious so they decided to take a look at the house. They slowly opened the front door and stepped inside. As soon as they entered, they felt a cold breeze, and the hairs on their arms stood on end. The house was dark and musty, with cobwebs hanging from the ceiling. They walked around, exploring the rooms, and found old furniture covered in dust and cobwebs. Smelled like mildew, Ben and Sarah walked through the house, their hearts pounding in their chests. They were scared but they were also excited. They had never been in a haunted house before. As they walked through the house, they heard strange noises. They heard footsteps and they heard whispers. They turned around and saw a figure standing in the doorway. The figure was tall and thin, and it was wearing a long black cloak. The kids couldn't see its face, but they could feel its eyes staring at them. The figure raised its hand and the kids felt a cold chill run down their spines. They knew they were in danger. They turned and ran, but the figure was faster. It chased them through the house, and they could hear it laughing as it chased them. They were starting to get really scared. Suddenly, they heard a loud crash. They turned around and saw that a door had slammed shut behind them. They were trapped. Ben and Sarah started to panic. They pounded on the door and shouted for help, but no one came. They were all alone. They didn't know what to do. They were scared and they were starting to get desperate. Then Ben had an idea. He remembered that he had read about a way to get rid of ghosts. He told Sarah what he knew and they decided to try it. They found a candle and some matches. They lit the candle and held it in the middle of the room. Then they started to chant. We banish you, evil spirits. We command you to leave this place. They saw shadows moving in the corners of their eyes. They chanted for a long time. They were starting to get tired but they kept chanting. Finally they heard a noise. It was a high-pitched wail. And it was coming from the other side of the room. Ben and Sarah looked at each other. They knew that the ghost was leaving. The wail got louder and louder and then it was gone. Ben and Sarah were safe. They had gotten rid of the ghost. They were tired and shaken, but they were also relieved. They had faced their fears, and they had won. They walked out of the house and into the fresh air. They took a deep breath, and they smiled. They were glad to be alive. Ben and Sarah never went back into the haunted house, but they never forgot what happened there. They knew the house was real, and that it was haunted. They also knew that there were things in the world that they didn't understand, and that those things could be dangerous. The kids never forgot the lesson they learned that day. Always be careful when exploring old, abandoned houses. You never know what you might find and they learned that even when things are scary, you can always find the courage to face your fears.